My senior year of high school, uh, no, it was my 11th grade, I was in love with this boy named Dave Tichnow. He was one of the boys in the movie Pete's Dragon. A factual bit of information, because I actually saw his residual check for like 102 cents or something from the Disney Corp. But at the time, in 11th grade, I was like, wow, like, Disney checks? Awesome. But anyway, Dave Tichnell, uh, here was the thing. Uh, I was totally in love with him, and he introduced me to the music of Prince. And like, the weird thing about my life is that I didn't know what fucking was. And I remember uh, this guy, Doug, who lived on our block, we were in someone else's swimming pool, and he was like, do you know what fucking is? I was like, no, I have no idea. And he told me something, like, you know, I have no idea what the ridiculous thing he told me was. Uh, but I was like, ugh, gross. And then Doug, just to fill in all of my weird uh, autobiographical stories that I like to tell, uh, left a letter on our door, he lived on the block, and had left this letter that was like a uh, kidnap letter with all the letters come out, cut out from magazines and stuff like that, that was like, I'm gonna blow up your palm tree. Anyway, I'm getting somewhere. Here's the thing, so Dave Tuchnell was, we would sit in his car at our little private school in Coldwater Canyon in LA, and he would play me Prince. And, the thing is, is like, it was like, jack you up, jack you up, all this like, you know, sexualized stuff, and I had no idea what it was at the time, except for the fact that I collected, by the time I went to college, eight and a half garbage bags full of gay porn. But anyway, anytime I would go meet Dave Tichnell, when we were talking about summer gyms, here was the thing, is that in LA we had this radio station called K-Rock. And so summer jams in LA were slightly different than summer jams everywhere else. So every time I would be driving to Dave Tichnell's house, this Peter Cetera song would come on. And I was like, it was the weird rhythm between all this sexualized, like, eight and a half garbage bags full of gay porn and Peter Cetera. And then I thought, so I was working on summer jams, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. And then I was like, I know that these are the, this is the weirdest medley of all time because nobody in the universe except my fucked up brain would put together this particular Prince song and Peter Cetera. And there we have it. Excuse me, but I need a mouth like yours. You cry 
Cause I don't wanna lose you I could never make it alone Only way, cause you and I know we're gonna die. 